10 Best Smartwatches Not Made by Apple The Apple Watch Series 7 is, by all accounts, an amazing smartwatch. But for all of its technical brilliance, it only works on Apple's iPhone devices. But what about everyone else who has not joined the Apple cult? If you're in the market for a great smartwatch, spit out the Kool-Aid, because there are a bunch of other watches out there that aren't blue bubble biased, and we had our team pick out the best options available. But before we go through the list, be sure to like this video and subscribe so you won't miss any of our future tech videos. We have a lot of great tech videos with more on the way that you won't want to miss. Hello, technophiles! Welcome to Tenzi's Tech. I'm Scott Leffler, and this is our list of the top 10 smartwatches not made by Apple. Number 10. Amazfit T-Rex Pro The T-Rex Pro is a budget fitness watch. It has no GPS navigation, no third-party app integration, and a somewhat cluttered interface. All things fine, considering its price tag of only $180. It has a retro design, looking like a traditional watch, and sports all the features other fitness trackers do, like heart rate sensors and SpO2 tracking, and it records all this data to the Zep app. Zep Health, formerly Huami, does export a lot of data but has no direct integration with apps like Google Health, so this is a huge setback for our data addict technophiles. It does have some smartwatch features like swiping through notifications from your phone and controlling music, but that's where it ends mostly. This is a pick for those looking for a heart rate monitor that's more of a watch form than the form of a fitness band. Number 9. Mobvoi TicWatch Pro 3 GPS the TicWatch Pro 3 raises the bar for Wear OS-based hardware with great battery life and performance. It's fitted with the Snapdragon 4100 chip, which gives it amazing performance and efficiency. The battery will last you around two days while utilizing the features generously. And as the name implies, it's fitted with GPS so you can track your outdoor runs more accurately. However, we do have to knock it down a peg due to its design. It doesn't look bad by any standard, but somewhat dull and uninspired. The hardware is great, but the user experience needed more attention too. It's less durable than its predecessors, the strap is cheap and somewhat uncomfortable, and the companion app and Wear OS really need an update. At just under $300, there are watches on this list at this price point that can offer a more rounded and cohesive software experience. Number 8. Fossil Hybrid Fossil is a traditional watchmaker that's been around since the 80s and their hybrid watches are their way of honoring the tradition of style-driven wristwatches. It doesn't want to be overburdened with high-tech features, rather it has a few cherry-picked ones which keep it simple and neat. Instead of these smartwatch elements being completely hidden, Fossil's latest hybrid blends widgets, notifications, and workout tracking into the face through an all-new e-ink display. The watch is controlled with the app and physical buttons, so they use an in-house operating system instead of Google's Wear OS, which is only available for full touchscreen smartwatches. These watches have a wide price range based on the style, starting at around $150, and are compatible with both iOS and Android. If you're looking for a stylish watch that augments your smartphone experience, then the Fossil Hybrid is a great option. Number 7. Fossil Gen 6 Fossil isn't a one-trick pony, so to fulfill the needs of their tech-thirsty customers, they also offer the Gen 6. It comes in at around $300, which is a fair price for what they offer. It has a wide range of colors and styles to choose from, and the device itself has a sleek design that doesn't look too techy. It's packed with a ton of great hardware including a GPS for distance tracking, NFC for contactless payments, and an amazing AMOLED screen. All of this is powered by the Snapdragon 4100 chip, giving it great performance. The only gripe we've had with it is the battery. It just leaves you wishing for more, lasting under 24 hours. At least it charges quickly, around 80% in 30 minutes. It also lacks some premium features like an ECG monitor and LTE, the latter of which was developed with their Gen 5. The Gen 6 is a great option if style is important to you, and we're glad Fossil has found its place among the top smartwatches, showing it can remain competitive in the digital age. Number 6. Garmin VivoActive 4 The VivoActive 4 isn't meant to revolutionize any markets or break any barriers. It's a mid-range option meant to be affordable. It'll run you a comfortable $235, around $100 less than the top-end watches. Garmin is a relative newcomer to the watch industry, being only around a decade old, but has been putting out some quality products over the years. It'll fit you nicely and it comes in a silver strap, black screen design, it's great fitness watch with built-in GPS, health monitoring and incident detection and assistance. Music streaming is a selling feature too, 
with 3.36 gigs of internal storage to fill with podcasts, music, and audiobooks so you can work out without carrying around your phone. The battery will last only about six hours if you're using the GPS and playing music, but this can be stretched out to eight days with power saving modes. Number 5. Suntu 9 Barrow Suntu 9 Barrow is a smartwatch designed specifically for serious outdoor athletes. Suntu has been making watches forever now, but recently it's dipped its toes in the smartwatch market. They've put a focus on the watch being very durable, using high-end materials like sapphire glass on the screen, water resistance down to 100 meters. It also has amazing location tracking by combining GPS with motion data and barometer for altitude data. It lacks other useful features like music storage and NFC. In fact, as far as features go, it's kind of bare bones. But Suntu does this to ensure an amazing battery life of 120 hours of continuous tracking. Suntu made this watch for a specific user in mind and does a great job at delivering what the user needs. Though at a price of $500, it is on the pricey side. Number 4. Polar Grit X Pro Like the Suntu 9 Barrow, this watch is made for extreme outdoor athletes. Like the Barrow, it's built for durability with sapphire glass on the face and water resistance down to 100 meters. They also made the features very bare bones so that it only gives the athlete what they need. On top of all that, the prices are the same, $500. However, the Grit X Pro does have a leg up over the Barrow, where the Barrow uses just the GPS satellite network for location tracking. The Grid X Pro uses three additional satellite networks for increased accuracy. Polar also offers a Titan upgrade for the Grid X Pro for an extra $100 that brings the weight down to 53 grams. But on the other hand, the Barrow does have better battery life. The Grid X Pro gives you 40 hours of constant tracking, which is amazing, but falls short of the Barrow. What do you think? Should the Barrow be ranked higher than the Grid X Pro? Let us know down in the comments. Number three. Garmin Forerunner 945 LTE The second Garmin feature on this list. This time around, we're looking at the flagship, the Forerunner. It has a slightly steep price of $645, but with the LTE integration, it's justified. It has a real classy look. It's not chunky, but not too sleek either, and fits comfortably on the wrist. The battery with just GPS mode will last you 35 hours, and with all features around 7 hours. As the name implies, it does have LTE functionality, which gives you better tracking, crash detection, real-time data sharing, and an emergency assistance button protocol. However, unlike other LTE-connected smartwatches, you can't make phone calls. The LTE functions also use Garmin service, which will run you 7 bucks a month. In addition to the LTE functions, it has a lot of the functions you would expect from a premium watch, such as NFC payments and internal music storage. Number 2. Fitbit Sense The Sense is one of the best Fitbits around, coming off the success of the Fitbit Versa line and building even further on it with some new features. It functions as a fitness tracker, helping you take care of your physical and mental health. It has a tried-and-true design, which is fine but might leave you wishing for more. It comes with onboard GPS, a wide spectrum of workouts to choose from, an ECG monitor, and the most accurate sleep monitoring on any wearable device as tested by the YouTube channel the Quantified Scientist. The Sense offers workout plans for any activity you could have in mind, from boxing to CrossFit. It fits nicely on the arm, which, as a fitness smartwatch, is an essential feature. The battery can last you up to a week, but frequent use of its sensors will lower that significantly. The only real downside is the clunky companion app, and some cool tools require a premium membership to use. Number 1. Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and Watch 4 Classic We left the best for last. Samsung's flagship Galaxy watches. The Watch 4's headline feature is its revamp of the Wear OS system, One UI Watch 3, which still looks positively Samsung. Fitness-wise, it comes with GPS for tracking runs, an optical heart rate sensor, and ECG support. The LTE option will also give you the ability to take and make phone calls from your watch while leaving your phone at home. The heart rate monitor works best within Samsung's apps, but you can also apply these features to third-party Wear OS tools like Strava and Nike Running Club. Without the use of any fitness features, the battery will get you to the two-day mark. We would have liked to have seen an upgrade to fitness and more compatibility with non-Samsung phones, but looks like they'll have to wait a while longer. With prices starting at just $250 and going up by 50 bucks for LTE connectivity, they offer the best balance of features, quality, and value, making it our number one pick. So what did you think about our list? Which of these has the best chance of being on your buying list? And are there any other great watches that we missed? Let us know in the comments below. 
And while there, be sure to like the video and share it with all your friends and family. If you like this video, you'll also like these other videos. And if you've already seen them, then be sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our future tech videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.